Hi guys, our stupid chickens got in the garden again. It has been a really busy day. I thought I would do a quick little tour. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to try to get some work done. I need to plant some new plants in the garden that I got at the farmer's market. Even though I have no more room in my garden, so I'm gonna to have to expand it a little bit. We have to move the chick enclosure and I have to feed all of them and check on our birdie hen. She's been doing so well lately, so much better than their last one. And yeah, just some outside work and then cleaning the house a little bit and then we're gonna relax the rest of the day. So I am really excited to get all this stuff done. Look at all the little green beans coming up. We had to put these supports in the walls of water because they kept tipping over. I think it's because our ground is too uneven. So we'll see if that works. It, it killed this one tomato plant. I'll see if I can bring it back, but it smushed it. There goes uh, Gandalf. I took the doggy crate out of here and put more tarps on so they're plenty secure. And I put a perch in there and they've got their food and water. They're all good to go. We moved it from over in this yard. So we didn't have any grass. I know this yard has a ton of grass so I'll, we'll move them over a space every few days so they can have plenty of grass. Hey guys, I have been hard at work outside. I have totally got the gardening bug. I've been so excited about the garden and I planted some more things this morning. I'll show you right now. My aunt sent over all these green bean starts. It's not very many of mine went up. I think the chickens ate them, so I planted those this morning. And then I used some fish emulsion and I watered all of the green beans and the eggplant and all the tomato plants since they're not getting as big as they should be. So hopefully that'll help them grow a little faster. These guys did great for their first night without sleeping in their cat kennel. I was a little bit worried about get in here and they're doing awesome. I just started the sprinkler in the chicken yard since it's looking pretty dry in here. I filled up this water right here and I put some apple cider vinegar in it for probiotics. Made sure the oyster shell was full. I also added this big huge water inside of their coop since this broody hen is being really good and she doesn't leave like ever. I wanted her to have easy access to a water and the feed so now we have a water outside and a water inside. We got a hen laying an egg. And someone apparently laid something in the wrong spot, so she took their nest. And these two pullets that we got earlier this year are finally learning how to perch. For the longest time, they were sleeping on top of our feed barrel. But now they're finally, finally getting the memo. So I'm just gonna count her eggs. <laughs> really? Trish. Some new 
glasses. How do you guys like them? My other frames were kind of a blue, and these are just black, which I like a lot better. And they're a little bit bigger of frames. I like them a lot. And I can see way better now too, which is nice. I just made a batch of my coconut oil soap, and I put betonite clay and chamomile flowers and lavender and orange essential oil. I wish you guys could smell this through the camera. It's amazing. This is my favorite soap of all time. And I think I made about 22 of these bars. These will last us for a while, selling them at the farmer's market and using them for ourselves. We've just finished up these coffee tables. The top is made out of fur and sealed with polyurethane. And it's big enough to hold these burlap storage totes, which I really like. And there's two of them. I'm just over here editing a video. But I just wanted to show you those real quick because I think they look awesome. My pickling cucumbers are looking very sad. I don't know what's wrong with them, but I gave them a really good watering today, so hopefully they'll perk back up. I thought I would do a quick little tour of our garden area and yard and chicken coop, because I don't think I've done an actual tour for you guys. And just in case you were curious how our property is laid out, I'm gonna just show you real quick. So you come out from our back French doors and see a little cute kitten. Yeah. You come out of a, a porch door And right here is our garden area. Here's my little garden plot here. And there's our one tree. A nice big yard here. And then we have our little pullets in this chain link area right here. We're gonna be doing rotational grazing with them. So moving them along this whole line and then that line and over the whole yard. So we're not gonna mow this yet. And then over here I have my secondary herb garden that has the two things that I don't want loose or they'll take over my yard. And these are the things I have to bring in in the winter. And here is our compost bin. We're thinking about moving into the chicken coop so they can scratch through it. And there's the other side that we can start putting stuff over there once this half is full to let that half uh, do its composting. And then you walk over here and here's the second half of our yard. This is where our chickens live. You come to the left of the gate. Here's our little storage area. This is where I keep my straw and our lawnmowers, which aren't there right now, and extra fencing, which I need to move that big thing into the storage area, but it's very heavy, so I've been procrastinating. We come around the corner. And here is the chicken coop, which you've seen, and two hens that want to lay an egg in the same box. They don't like these layer two boxes for some reason, they're very picky. And you come back out, and the chickens have a nice big yard that comes around the corner. Oh yeah. So we're on two city lots, which is super nice. Most of the people in town only have chicken. Stop that. This chicken likes to stand right in front of the gate and then when I open it she squats down and then I can't open the gate. She's ridiculous. <laughs> so I was saying most people in town have one city lot so I'm super grateful to have two. And that's how we have enough room for chickens and a garden and they have plenty of room. I have plenty of room for expansion in the garden. So that's just a quick little tour and today I'm going to be working on finishing up some Instant Pot yogurt that I have a recipe coming out for soon so stay tuned for that. That's really exciting. And I have a fussy baby on my back. I think she's teething. She's not super ah! impressed with me today, but I really need to do some house cleaning. So we'll see how much I get done, but more indoor work today than outdoor work. Hey guys, me and Sophia are just scurrying around getting ready for the farmer's market. Luke's not helping us today because he has a men's breakfast and Bible study, so he dropped off all the stuff there and me and Sophia have to get ready and go by ourselves, which I'm kind of sad about because I miss Luke, but it'll be fun for him to go to that thing. So my dad and Caleb are going to come help us set up because there's a lot of heavy stuff and it's hard for me to do by myself trying to hold a fuzzy baby, so hopefully she's good today. Is she? Did do very good last night, so we'll see how this goes. Hey. 
Yeah, I was trying to grab it. <laughs> Who knew? been a really busy day. Hey baby on my back again. I made dinner, I made a dessert, I got some postpartum herbal bath mix ready to take to a baby shower tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. And I'm working, I, I tidied up the living room. I need to finish cleaning the kitchen. I have a bunch of editing I still need to do. And it's 6.30 already. We did the farmer's market this morning. It's been a really busy day and we have gotten a lot done, but there's still so much to do. This Laundry has been piling up for days. This is cloth diapers, and this is like four loads of our other laundry. And I will be folding this tonight while we watch the show. And lots of editing, too. We got the little pullets moved over his face, and they loved it. They were so excited to get some fresh grass, so I'm really liking this rotational grazing idea. And I think they're actually close to getting big enough to let out with the other hens. I don't want to risk it and have them. Hi! get out because they are still kind of small but they're getting there which is really exciting it'll be really nice when we can have all the chickens all in one spot again making some farm fresh hard boiled eggs for lunch we're gonna have a nice salad with spinach and mushrooms and eggs got some of sophia's diapers i got to dry today sophia was laughing at the kittens while we were all sitting on the couch watching a show and it was so cute oh my goodness i usually she doesn't laugh at something unless we like we work really hard to do something funny but she was just like cackling at the kitten while well, it was just playing by her. It was so cute. And I got one laugh, but I think she did like four times that I missed all the other ones. <laughs> and today we went to the baby shower and that was so much fun. And tonight we're just relaxing and we, wa we finished watching a movie we started last night. And we're probably gonna play some games and just relax as a family. And Sophia's being so good. This week she's been teething so bad. And today she's been so, so good. And she slept good last night, so we're having a really good day. Our stupid chickens got in the garden again. And they were digging all around and I have no idea how long they were in there. And I went running out there and I got my big stick that I keep for situations just like this. And I started chasing them around and they decided that this was the day that they were gonna fight me about going back in the yard. I have no idea how they even got in there. The gate was shut, there's no holes in the fence. They probably flew over, which means that it's time to clip their wings soon, those beans. So I have no idea if any seeds are still there. I guess this is just going to be a total test garden this year because those chickens just are insistent on eating it. I'm not the most thrilled with them right now. In fact, I'm actually thinking about turning them all in stew, but I won't do that because they're good egg layers. You can see where they were digging right there, and there, and there's where my bee seeds are planted. Thankfully they didn't dig up any of the green beans that are still little. A little bit of digging here as well, wasn't, oh here's some big holes. At least there's not seeds right there though. And as you can tell my garden desperately needs to be weeded. Look at you evil chickens. Here's my chicken chasing stick. It works very well. I am about to make a quick and easy Instant Pot dinner and I'm really excited about it because I just got this Instant Pot and my grandma bought me this gluten-free Instant Pot cookbook and I'm going to try one of the recipes out of there. It's the Mushroom Smothered Pork Chops, so I'm really excited to try this. guys enjoyed following along on our week. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video.